It all started about a week ago. I hadn't eaten in two weeks, and I managed to bring my body closer to perfection. Now four and a half stone. They made me go to that place, that horrible place. They forced me into that car, that place, vulgar, dirty, people coughing their germs everywhere, all looking at me, judging, looking down on me. Why look at me? Because I can control myself. The man in the white jacket was looking at me through his distortedly thick glasses. What problem? It doesn't affect him. I don't want to eat. He said it as if I'm ill. I'm not ill. I know who and what I am. I know what I want and what I don't want. I can see the wrinkles on his sweaty brow emerge as he puzzled over the information my mother gave him. Of course, he came to the same distorted conclusion that everyone else had. But I'm not anorexic. The next thing I knew, he was reciting the definition of anorexia from his medical dictionary. An eating disorder characterised by markedly reduced appetite or total aversion to food. Anorexia is a serious psychological disorder. It is a condition that goes well beyond out-of-control dieting. The person with anorexia, most often a girl or young woman, initially begins dieting to lose weight. Over time, the weight loss becomes a sign of mastery and control. The drive to become thinner is thought to be secondary to concerns about control and fears relating to one's body. The individual continues the endless cycle of restrictive eating, often to a point close to starvation. This becomes an obsession and is similar to an addiction to a drug. Anorexia can be life-threatening. Any addiction can be defined as the abuse of a pleasure. Fasting. Starving. That certainly has its pleasures. The exercise of control. The novel dissociation from the food. The absolute beauty of sacrificing yourself and desires for something you consider more important than survival. Why is it that fasting out of grief can be liberating, cleansing? Fasting in worship can be powerful, an affirmation of faith. Fasting for health reasons can breed a cherished appreciation from your body. But fasting for vanity is an illness.